Hey guys, it's Danny B. Oh my gosh, it's it's literally one week away. Bristol is one week away, and then me and all the other YouTubers get to hang out at Bristol at the night race. I hope you're gonna be there. Anyways, this is my minute. Let's get into some NASCAR news. So earlier this week, it was announced by Brandon Belt Motorsports that Will Rogers will compete in two more races for the team starting this weekend at Mid-Ohio. Rogers will race at Mid-Ohio, and he will also be competing at the Charlotte Roval later this year. Good luck, Will Rogers. It was also announced announced this week from Kyle Busch Motorsports that Alex Tagliani will be competing in one of their trucks at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park as well. In more news of road course ringers, Lawson Oschenbach will be racing the number 4 car for JD Motorsports with a unique sponsorship of GoPro Motorplex. This car looks amazing. It's easy to get lost in the black and white colors and just everything pops out on this. I'm a big fan of this one. Eric Jones has unveiled his throwback for Darlington and it's kind of a unique one. It's actually going back to his rookie light model. While it doesn't really seem too creative to most people's eyes, to him I'm sure it means a lot. So I'm gonna give this one a pass right now, but maybe we'd like to see, you know, some some uh, you know different schemes in the future. But hey, this is Eric Jones's Darlington throwback for 2019. Jeffrey Earnhardt announced this week that he and sponsor IK9 have parted ways, which means now his deal of Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota Racing seems to be have put on hold. This all first happened at Daytona when it was announced he'd be going out of that car that weekend and now it's been unveiled that the sponsor has left him but to make things interesting in a tweet from IK9 that was responding to someone else they said that Jeffrey Earnhardt was the one who chose to cancel the contract lots of things are going back and forth being said between both parties so it's really unsure exactly what has happened right now it definitely makes things interesting NASCAR will soon have to deliver teams the details of a renewed charter system where they will find out if they will be receiving an increase in league revenue from 2021 to 2024. NASCAR does have until November 1st of this year for the teams to receive the details. This call came out from tweets that I saw from Adam Stern this week. Under the current deal, teams this year will get about $260 million in total to be distributed amongst themselves, with money coming from TV, tracks, and NASCAR. Teams have to give NASCAR notice of whether they intend to accept the renewal offer between January 1st to March 1st, 2020 as well. Oh, and I almost forgot Got one more road course ringer for Mid Ohio this week in the Xfinity Series. Jack Hawksworth will be driving the number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing this weekend. Earlier this week, the team over at 704 Games revealed the entire roster for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It does include names like Tyler Reddick, Ross Chastain, Justin Allgaier, Zane Smith, Joey Gase, Josh Billicke, Ryan Sieg, Austin Hill, Benny Miller, Brandon Brown, Jeff Green, and many others. Now, those of you who follow car super late model racing, you probably already heard about the big over at Hickory Speedway with Bubba Pollard. Well, he got into a big fight over there, and then it turns out that the Cars Super Late Model Tour has actually fined him all of his third place winnings from that race of $1,500, and they have suspended him for five races. What a statement by the Cars Super Late Model Series to offer that big of a suspension for one of their top stars. But hey, I'm all for this one. You have to lay the law down in these situations. But hey, Brad Keselowski is going to be good on sponsorship for a little while as Discount Tire has already agreed to more multi-year extensions with Brad Keselowski. So, I mean, I think we all figured that would happen, but now it's confirmed. And now it's time for your weather forecast for this weekend's races. The Xfinity Series will be at Mid-Ohio this weekend, and you can expect weather to be partly cloudy and mostly sunny this weekend, with highs in the low 80s and lows in the high 50s and low 60s. And the Cup Series will be up at Michigan Speedway for the second time this season, and likewise you can expect the exact same forecast for Mid-Ohio to be transitioned over to Michigan with a slight differentiation in the temperatures. That's all for my minute this week. I'll see you next Monday when we get ready to go to Bristol. Bye guys.